Hi, I'm Yuhuru Williams, I'm a professor of history, and here's what you need to know in order to sound smart about the Black Panthers. The Black Panther Party for Self-Defense was founded in October of 1966 by two college students, Huey Newton and Bobby Seale. Newton and Seale created a 10-point program to outline their political views. Among other things, the Panthers called for an immediate end to police brutality, employment of African Americans, and a call for land, housing, and justice, actually citing the Declaration of Independence. The Black Panther Party was also part of the Black Power Movement, which emphasized things such as Black pride, community control, and the importance of African Americans unifying for civil rights. In 1968, the Black Panther Party dropped self-defense from its title in order to emphasize its community programs. Among the most popular of the Panther's social programs was their Free Breakfast for Children program. They also created free health clinics in 13 communities across the United States. Despite their social programs, the Panthers were involved in numerous encounters with police, some ending in violence and bloodshed. During the 1950s and 1960s, the FBI had a secret counterintelligence program called COINTELPRO, and the Panthers became one of the FBI's chief targets. J. Edgar Hoover, the director of the FBI, famously even called the Panthers one of the greatest threats to the nation's internal security. A significant split between Panther leaders Eldridge Cleaver and Huey Newton led to internal friction, which threatened the existence of the party after 1968. The Black Panther Party was officially disbanded in 1982. Young people in large numbers came out and joined what became known as the Red Guards. These largely terroristic organizations were used to publicly humiliate, assault, and in some cases, even murder political enemies of Mao and the Communist Party. 